On this journey, my life finds unfamiliar songs to sing, new ways to truly feel, new gifts to use and bring, aspects turning, sitting on the front porch of heaven, wondering if it's even real, wondering if it's okay to breathe. Slightly sitting humbled by the thought of forgiveness as a form of embrace, as a way to run away, slightly fumble through the plot of constant viciousness as I turn back to sustenance and realize that all along I just needed grace. So I ask, why do I crave this sense of immense jubilance? It's comforting to pretend that when I die, this whole world will end. So I'll finally step back and meander to explain this. It's easier to lose precious time if I keep my ego fed. Because I fell into the trap that winning is more important than being right in the end. But I don't want to be right. I want to do my best to be effective. So don't slip. There's ice on the stairs and we're equipped to endure the worst, but I don't think any of us care. So don't say you weren't warned when you're swallowed by a pride you thought you could control the whole entire time. Because when someone hurt me and got away with it, I spent years trying to get even with the world and realized too late that it's not about getting even. It's about understanding what will be unfurled and healing those scars so I can find freedom. But once I learned that, I was already in the deep end. And I lost who I was.